Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to the Milestone 25th Miami Jewish Film Festival, the world's largest festival of its kind. We want to thank our members, sponsors, community partners, and all you film lovers, and especially our presenting sponsor, the Center for Advancement of Jewish Education, SAGE Miami, and the Great, Greater Miami Jewish Federation for their continued support throughout all these years. My name is Carly Orshan, and I am the Director of the Teen Department and March of the Living Program for SAGE Miami, and I'm excited to be moderating a virtual conversation with those from the film Edge of Light, which is premiering at our, year, our festival this year. I want to thank you all for joining us and ask each of you to briefly introduce yourself to our audience and the role that you had with the film to start us off. Hey, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Alexander Kardish and I'm pleased to be the producer of the film, representing the producing uh, organization, which is the foundation of Tygodnik Powszechny, rooted in the Tygodnik Powszechny Publishing House. Uh, Tygodnik Powszechny is the Polish uh, Christian weekly paper founded in 1945. Uh, and from its very beginning, deeply involved in the Polish-Jewish dialogue in Poland. There were very many uh, crucial texts on the pages of Tygodnik through these over 75 years, the title exists. And uh, uh, we are always present in uh, every situation where the dialogue is needed. The paper is private, doesn't belong to any media group, doesn't belong to the church either. We are completely independent. And on the base of the weekly paper, for three years now, we started the film production. Our first film was the portrait of our former chief in editor, Father Adam Boniecki, and the second film, The Edge of Light, is uh, the film which is the continuation of this involvement in the Polish-Jewish dialogue existing for many years. And uh, when Wojtek Szumowski came to us with the idea of the film, we caught it uh, at once and we found out that that's something that we want to present, that's something we want to show to the world, that's something that we want to get involved very deeply in, and that's very much in the center of our range of interests. So, so we are very happy to be involved in that. And it was a huge pleasure and great honor to cooperate with Wojtek and to meet Darius, who is uh, an incredible person. And to, to portrait him and to portrait his work, uh, nothing better could meet us. Uh, that's, that's more or less about us. And uh, we are very happy and very proud to be the part of the Miami Jewish Film Festival. And uh, I hope everybody enjoys the film. And, and we think it's very important that the message of this film, a uh, positive aspect of the Polish Jewish relations nowadays, in a very difficult time, in a time which is politically um, very, uh, difficult for any dialogue. The people doesn't want to dialogue. People rather quarrel than, 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 than dialogue. So our idea was to uh, pour the oil on the stormy water. So to show uh, a person of Darek, to show his project to the world, to convince people that there are positive aspects of, of the Polish-Jewish relations in the Poland nowadays. So Absolutely. That's, that's it more or less. We will come to more things later. Yes, I, there's so much there that I want to unpack. Um, and let's let's move on so each person can share a little bit about themselves. Wojtek yeah, will speak Polish and I will translate him, okay? Perfect, perfect. Hello, everybody. Moja historia jest, e, trwa już od 30 lat. Przygoda z filmem dokumentalnym e, no już jest dosyć e, spora. My story with the documentary film is over 30 years old now. 
Kilka lat temu w Polsce ukazała się bardzo ważna książka. Few years ago a very important book appeared in Poland. Dalej jest noc polskich historyków. Then there is the night I by Polish historians. Ta książka otworzyła jakby nową, nowe rejony wiedzy y, na temat y, zagłady w Polsce. And this book opened like the new areas of the knowledge of Holocaust in Poland. Ta książka oraz na, następne książki, które zacząłem czytać, e, pokazały mi, jak, jak, jak płytka jest moja wiedza. This, this book and the next ones I read showed me how shallow my knowledge was. E, zacząłem się tym interesować i, i zgłębiać tą wiedzę, bo to jest ogromna wiedza. I started to be more and more interested in it and to explore this knowledge, which is very, very large. I ogarnęło mnie przerażenie. And I got frightened. To przerażenie, takie samo przerażenie, kiedy przekraczałem e, bramę Auschwitz, kiedy przekraczałem bramę Bełstwa. The same frightening which meets you when you go through the gate of Auschwitz or, or Belzen, Be Bełżyc. I e, poczu poczucie przerażenia e, Chciałem zamienić na coś e, pozytywnego. In this feeling of frightening, I wanted to convert into something positive. I w tych moich podróżach, wędrówkach natrafiłem na Darka. And in my travels, I met, I happened to meet Darek. I choć z dużą nieufnością podchodziłem na początku do tego, co Darek robi. Nevertheless, in the beginning, I was uh, a bit uh, i, I didn't have a, a, a strong reliability in, in what he is doing. Zdałem sobie sprawę z tego, gdy Darka już poznałem, że... że to... when, I, when I get to closer, no, when I get to knowing him closer, I found out... Zdałem sobie sprawę z tego, że to jest droga. To jest oprócz drogi e, bólu, Droga zaangażowania w pamięć. This is the way, not only the way of pain, but also the way of involvement in the memory. To jest droga na wyjście z bezradności. No, it's the, the way to leave the helplessness. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. Um, I, I loved hearing about how there, there's like a moment of being awakened by knowledge. Um, and um, that's really powerful. And I think that that's what the film is doing in, in many ways. Okay, so my name is Dariusz Popiela. Uh, I am athlete. I am the member of the Polish uh, CAM team. Uh, and also my second life, let's say this way, it's a commemoration of the Holocaust victims, uh, Polish Jew, especially from uh, from area of uh, Podhale district, southern Poland. And this is uh, where I am um, acting. I start a uh, foundation um, because I strongly believe that we can start changing from the small steps and uh, and uh, what you had seen is a, is, is one of these small steps uh, forward. <laughs> and thank you. And I am uh, in shock that we are <laughs> in Miami and, and such a things are, are going on. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Next time you'll actually be in Miami with us. Um, <laughs> that'll be a, a goal for the future. But um, I, I even just hearing from each of you i'm i'm overcome i um really found the film very profound as someone who goes to poland frequently who teaches about polish jewelry um to students um to remember the work that you all have done is um truly you said a mitzvah but it's beyond that um in judaism we have a word for for people who are um, you know, very um, uh, good people, <laughs> good human beings, um, a mensch, and, you know, someone with integrity and honor, someone that we want to admire and emulate because their character and their ability 
to sense what is right and what is responsible is so strong. And I feel that all of you are a mensch and you have done that for your community and for the larger community as people see this film. So I want to dive in and talk about the, the nitty gritty details of the film, because I know that this is not an easy process, right? Starting the foundation to do the work, I'm sure was not easy, let alone starting to film it and to convey the story. So I invite you to just share, you know, the steps, all the steps that go into that, that process of thinking about making a difference, to filming, to getting funding. Um, what did that look like? Um, and I just want to kind of open it to, to all of you to, to share. Okay. I think we, we should start uh, from the beginning. So uh, maybe first, first will be impression how I met uh, Wojtek. Yeah? <laughs> so, uh, because, because this is how the story uh, starts. So, um, uh, I was doing uh, People Not Number uh, project already in uh, two towns. Uh, it was in Kroschenko in Podhale district and then in Grybów. In Kroschenko we commemorate 256 victims and then, uh, with the name and surname on monument. Uh, also with ceremony where we greet all the victims and afterwards um, uh, I go 60, uh, 50 kilometers another direction to Grybów, where, where we commemorate 1,746 victims. Yeah? And also with the name and surname on monument, and we read all, uh, all the names. And then uh, during the winter time, when usually I prepare another project, uh, I uh, got a, get a phone from Mr. Wojciech and, uh, and Wojciech um, starts to make some research about the project. He also, I didn't knew, but he was also in Kroschenko at the first, uh, our first commemoration, yeah, our first project. He, uh, he also filmed some materials, yeah, he was there. Um, and it was big, uh, big surprise for me. Yeah? And, uh, and, and, uh, and this is how we met and the story uh, starts. Yeah? Then, as Wojtek uh, said before, um, he was not sure <laughs> if it is interesting uh, subject, if there is a space uh, to do some important, uh, uh, to catch some important moment uh, of the of this work because in fact it's a uh, also hard work for me yeah? it's a not work because I don't get any money but <laughs> but I need to push my energy to finish a uh, project and then we meet with Wojciech and then start the story of the Wojciech <laughs> that is my perspective Wonderful. Um, and so, you know, my my follow up question to that, I, I found so fascinating is how did you find the people to share their stories or all of the people that had the the mitzvot, the, the tombstones in their homes? Like, did you know that that existed? Did you put out a call for action? Like, how, how did we how did you get them? You know, that's been sitting there for years and years and years. Um, and finally, you've been able to 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 capture them in a way and, and take them and, and restore them, which is so beautiful. But, you know, how did how did that happen? You know. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is one of the aspects of the project, because um, uh, my idea was that in each place where we act, we are not uh, talking too much, but we are acting. We show local community that the most important is to take action. Yeah? And we didn't uh, call for, uh, yeah, later, yes, but at the beginning, people stopped because they saw that we are working at the cemetery, they stopped. And there was a lot of amazing stories just because someone stopped, walk inside and say, 
Good morning, gentlemen. I have some <laughs> some special stone on my uh, um, side, yeah, at my uh, uh, in my garden, yeah. Let's say there was one, yeah, and and, and this is how it works. It was slowly um, local commu community um, um, trust us step by step. And this is how it goes. So uh, later on, even the mayor of this of the of the city, um, uh, he uh, asked people officially to bring back the the, the tombstones, yeah, Matseva, um, back. But at the beginning, it was completely um, trust from the local people. You know, they saw that we are acting, and and they decided to to do something because the answer was. Uh, we didn't bring them back because uh, cemetery was completely neglected. Yes, and it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it, it goes this way. Yeah, that, that's why. But they saw that we are acting day by day. The cemetery is changing, and that was the main reason. That's I, so wonderful, and it's so great to hear that the community trusted you all. Yes. Um, and entrusted you to do this uh, project. And I, I remember in the film, you know, there was someone who mentioned at first, uh, you know, why? Why do this? Why why do this for the Jews? And I'm curious if, if you've in, not just in this uh, town and community, but throughout your experience, have you had that, you know, question raised a lot? Um, and how do you convert people, you know, to say, this is a human experience, which is what happened um, in, in the film. And um, just if there's any anecdotes that you have with that. It's a question to me, yeah? Or... Sure. To, to, yeah, to you, because, yeah. I mean, you've been on the ground probably working most with, with people, but I'm sure you all, uh, you know, as a producer and director, you may have had questions from family or friends. Why are you doing this, right? Um, and yeah, love to every day. <laughs> Every day someone asks such a question. Darek is spreading the good energy. I spent many months on his side z kamerą, with the camera. Wszystkim zdarzeniom, które Darek realizował. Jest wiele rzeczy, które do, do filmu się nie, do, nie przydostały. There are many things that we didn't uh, involved in the film. Ponieważ mogłoby to naruszyć sam proces odbudowy i upamiętnienia ofiar Czarnego Dunaju. Czasami były takie dni, kiedy to było stąpanie po bardzo kruchym lodzie. Sometimes it, these were the days when it was walking on a very thin ice. Mm. Ale e, Darek e, jakby starał się godzić i przekonywać wszystkich, a miał też osoby nieprzekonane. But he is very good in convincing people. There, there were many people who were not convinced to what he is doing, but he, he has this kind of gift or the charisma to, to, to convince people. To była taka wąska ścieżka, It's the narrow path, aby właśnie zdobyć zaufanie. To dar mnie... to, to obtain the, the people's trust. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's what I assumed, right? Um, and and it's remarkable that you were able to. I mean, just enough that there's so many there's so many tombstones that you were able to to find, and that people said, "Yes, take it from my garden, take it from my home." Um, and uh, to me, that was just uh, a beautiful experience. Um, I'm curious, you know, during the filming or during the editing process, if, you know, you guys have been working together a lot. Um, are there any particular stories that you'd like to share about the, the filming process and about working together and collaborating on this project? 
Yeah, I, for me, it was really hard to remember to call Wojciech <laughs> that I am going, because I don't live in Czarne Dunajec. I live around 100 kilometers, and Wojciech lives also 100 kilometers. I live in Nowy Sąż, uh, Wojciech lives in uh, Niepołomice, uh, close to Krakow, so it's also around 100 uh, kilometers. So for me, it was hard to get get used to uh, Woj to call Wojciech that something will, uh, will will go on. Yeah, and one of the story that I uh, I remember uh, very well, and I will remember I think forever was the day that I forget to call him, and uh, I I went to 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 Czarny Dunajec. Uh, there was a rainy day. There was a very sad day. There was just some. And some work to do, but boring work, you know, not uh, anything special. And then I saw that uh, um, without my call, Wojciech was there. Eh? He, he arrived after, I don't know, one hour and he was there. And I was so, um, um, for me, I, I was very nervous and uh, it was, uh, I feel that I didn't call, uh, it's not right, I didn't feel well with this. And I say, Wojciech, why you arrived? It's uh, boring today, nothing interesting. And he didn't finish uh, answering why. And then suddenly uh, one car stopped. Uh, one man <laughs> went outside, came to the cemetery, and, uh, and he told us, good morning, gentlemen. I have something interesting <laughs> for you. And then suddenly um, uh, we went to his... Uh, uh, grandmother or uh, yeah, grandmother, I think, and we got amazing story of the eyewitness of one of the uh, execution. In fact, father of this lady uh, was uh, was the uh, was the uh, he saw uh, the execution of the Jews, yeah, and it was it was unbelievable and very very emotional thing and uh, not only for the movie but also for us that we touch the story uh, from the holocaust yeah and the, someone who, who was in uh, was part of it because this lady till today remember the blood uh, blood on the uh, yeah on the carriage yeah and yeah it was it was and then he also told us that at one backyard uh, there is a white stone, and this stone is Maceva. And, and we asked, uh, how you know about it? And he told us, just yesterday, my uncle from Canada called me, <laughs> and he told me that this is the Maceva from this cemetery. So uh, at this boring day, <laughs> let's say, we got amazing, amazing um, hours, yeah. And uh, and Wojciech um, record this all this whole process, yeah. So it was amazing. <laughs> so <laughs> from awesome. my side, I don't know Wojciech's story, but from me, this was the the story. Ja byłem niezwykle zaskoczony, wzruszony, kiedy zobaczyłem ilu ludzi jest wokół Darka. I was very much surprised when I saw how many people there are around Darek. Oddających swój czas, swoją energię. Giving him, giving him their time, their energy. Tu, serce, tu mi się serce no, radowało. Radowało się tak, jak się raduje Darek. My heart got happy as he is happy. Ale najbardziej takie wstrząsające dla mnie było doświadczenie w zakładzie kamieniarskim. But the strongest impression for me was in the uh, stonemaker uh, workshop. Były tam wykuwane imiona i nazwiska wszystkich ofiar z Czarnego Dunaju. Mm -hmm. They worked on uh, uh, writing the letters in the stone of all the names of the victims. From German Jest ta scena w filmie. The scene is in the film. I poczułem tak bardzo głęboko, że, felt very deeply, że te imiona i nazwiska zostaną na wieki. That these names and four names will remain forever. Na zawsze w kamieniu wykute. For centuries uh, made in the stone. I ta, ta sytuacja opowiadała mi o tym, jak pamięć w naszych głowach, pracach historyków Karoliny Pans 
jakby zamienia się w realną rzeczywistość. And it showed me how the story, which is in our heads, in the head of our historian expert Karolina Pants, how it turns into the touchable reality. To jest chyba najważniejsza scena dla mnie. It was the most important scene for me. Uh, that's it's wonderful. I mean, I think um, I, I mean, you all have touched on this a little bit, and I'm assuming that this is why the story is so important to tell, which you can certainly expand upon. But it's um, creating names. One of the educational philosophies that we have when we teach about the Holocaust is to make sure that our students recognize that it's not num a, a large number understanding 6 million or 12 million um you know people that have perished in in the holocaust is such um it, it's so hard to fathom but once we start to identify people by names and then their stories where they're from who they were um it helps to personalize it and i think that that is um something to it you're really commemorating somebody when you do that um, you're really honoring them. There was a moment in the film um, that um, it was dark, but I believe um, I, I don't know exactly who was speaking. I think it was it was uh, you, Darius. But the there's uh, you, you said something about the light um, being in the synagogue that that you wanted to bring song back again, right? You see a, a tarnished building. Right. And, you know, how could we bring this back to life after it's been silenced? Right. Um, and I feel that you all have done that so significantly by writing those, the, having those names printed in stone. Um, I agree. That was something that was so powerful for me to see the chiseling of the names and that that stone um, being memorialized. Okay. And so I ask if there's any, um, you know, anything that else you want to explain in terms of why this sto story is so important. I know initially um, you mentioned the relationship between, uh, you know, the the Polish lens and um, and Jewish life, and um, really trying to bridge that uh, the issues of of trying to have dialogue in a polarizing society. We know anti-Semitism is rampant around the world. Um, I've been to Poland, as I mentioned many times. I have colleagues in Poland um, that I've known for many years and have great relationships with them. And yet I've also been in on side streets where I see graffiti that is heartbreaking, you know, anti-Semitic graffiti. Um, and so I know that in Poland, there's even a polarizing, you know, struggle of, of me memorializing um, and remembering. Um, and so, you know, mm -hmm. why is this so important for each of you um, to tell this story and to bring that to light? Well, uh, I think this story will has no chance to be untold too much because uh, for, for so many years it was forgotten, for so many years it was not spoken about. And uh, for me, when, as I told in the beginning, when Wojtek came with the idea of this film to, to our organization, uh, it was uh, obvious that we have to go into it because, uh, well, I feel it as the as the moral obligation for, for myself and for whatever I do to be to tell truth. I mean to to not to let we, we, we tell that something is swept under the carpet. We must not sweep under the carpet any parts of our history, even if it's painful for us. Even if we uh, well not we personally, but our nation can feel like guilty for, for a certain period of time. Uh, we have to do our best to find any positive aspects of it, because to, to equilibrate, to, to balance the situation, there are so many bad words, there are so many 
people who are um, um, trying to make the memory of Jews in Poland as the memory of uh, um, of the time where there were some people, some aliens who came here, they didn't want to join us, they didn't want to get adopted to our habits, they wanted to live their own life in our own country. So I'm fighting with this kind of narration. I hate this kind of attitude because uh, uh, it's true, we are living here, but we can live when, wherever. Any place on earth can be the place where we happen to find ourselves sometimes. You never know where you will happen, you, uh, where, you, where you will find yourselves in the future. So uh, it happened that many million of Jews came to Poland for many reasons and during hundreds of years. And they, they became Polish people no matter what their confession was, whether they uh, were baptized Christians or they were um, people of the Old Testament, of the book of Moses, the, uh, our older brothers in faith. Uh, it doesn't matter so much. There were people, they were, they were our neighbors. They, are, they lived their lives next to us, next door to us. And, uh, that's 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 the point for me to do our best to build this kind of of attitude to to support any human actions which are in this in this stream which try to say uh, they were poles they were Jews they came they were born here or they were born there. They came here, but they lived with us. They were our neighbors. They were, we had so much together. There is a, um, I like in the film, there is the scene when one, one of these old ladies is telling the history of her um, friend, the girl, when they were like five, seven years old, many years ago. And he said, we walked hand in hand. We played together. Of course, of course, it's the life. It's the neighbor's life. And uh, of course, there is plenty of extremism on both sides. Uh, there were, among Jewish people, there were also people who didn't accept their Polish neighbors, even if they lived in Poland. But you cannot say uh, Jews was like that and Poles was like this. By the way, I don't like this. Uh, kind of separation, Jews, Poles. I would rather say the Poles of Jewish origin and the Poles of other origins, because actually in this place on earth, we have a very complex origin. For example, my roots are from Czech, from Austria and from Germany. So, and I'm, I'm Polish. I, I was born in Poland. I speak Polish as my mother tongue and uh, I'm Polish, but I also feel a bit Czech, a bit German, a bit Austrian. Uh, you know, the history of Poland, of this, especially of this south part of Poland, is very complex and very, very long. And why should we say we Poles and they're Jews? No, we all Poles of different origin, of different religions. By the way, these two religions are very close to each other because this uh, God we believe in is the same. We only have another ways to, to, if we are believers, of course, to believe and to praise him. So, so uh, I hate these barriers. So for me, getting involved in this film was a chance to fight with these barriers I hate. So, and, and that's also the mission of the Godnik, which our, our paper is, is uh, uh, having in in uh, in the biggest depth of heart and and which is which is our our idea and our clue and what we are trying to do for almost eight years. So crushing barriers and and helping people to be together. And uh, for me, this is uh, 
uh, everyday uh, reality for me. This was nothing, uh, nothing uh, special, as you said about graffiti. I remember a few years ago uh, um, the place where I uh, where I am practicing kayaking yeah, uh, in Krakow. There was plenty of anti-Semitic graffiti, yeah? uh, and uh, for me it was clear. Let's take a. Uh, uh, paint. Uh, let's paint the bad words. Yeah, and it, it was clear. And I and I have done it. And um, I always start changing uh, from from myself. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's my my goal. Yeah. And uh, um, for me, it in fact uh, the reason why I act because I am not Jew. Uh, I don't have uh, any roots uh, since I I know now. But maybe I will find out one day. But uh, but. It com it's completely uh, different. Uh, for me, it was clear when I realized, because I finished primary school, I finished high school, and I have no knowledge about J Jewish citizens from my city. Yeah? One third, nearly one, uh, one, nearly one, nearly half of the citizens were murdered during uh, the Holocaust. And I have uh, no clue. And I was around 20 few years old. Yeah? And, uh, and when I realized, this uh, story, but but I need to search for it. It it wasn't natural. I just start to uh, read about the Holocaust, and then in my head was question: Okay, um, many small city have the Holocaust story. What was in my city? And then I start to uh, to find out the un answers. Yeah, and uh, for me, because I didn't knew any Jew. Yeah? In Poland, it's hard to have a friend, Jewish friends, because <laughs> there is not many of them. You, you need to understand. For me, it was also a question if uh, someone not Polish will understand our movie, because it's very, very, as you said, it's a, a very tough and hard to, to, to explain this all, uh, all uh, problems. Yeah? And, uh, and, and for me, it was clear when I realized the story, OK, I Google where is the uh, monument, where I can pray, where I can put the stone, light a candle. And there is no, no such a place in my city. Yeah? And for me, it was shock. And then in my head, uh, uh, was start some process. Yeah? It, it, it takes a time. But for me, uh, I was so angry. And I, I couldn't understand. Uh, now I, I I still don't understand. I we can try to explain because of communism time, yeah, because of this, of oh, okay, but this is not an not answer. This is no explanation. Uh, let's say today half of my city will disappear, but not disappear. They will they will be murdered. And what we forget because of what? And in fact, in many small city, in many villages in Poland, we forget about the neighbor. We forget about them. And this is the problem. Because in the big city, it's a little bit different. In Warsaw, Krakow, it's, it's completely different story. You have foundation, you have organization. To work uh, there, it's a little bit easier. But to start this process in the small community, this was the challenge. Yeah? And I don't know why, but I start from the small city. I start from the small villages. And, and this process is hard. But I believe in it, and 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 maybe maybe that's why. And we didn't act in the movie. In fact, all of what you see is my reality. I am uh, now one year later. I am after the project in Novotark, Novotark. and some uh, uh, pictures are completely the same. People bring uh, uh, Matseva at the cemetery. Uh, we we meet amazing people. It's a uh, this same uh, very similar story. Yeah? And, uh, and, 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 and that's why, yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to share about um, the, the process of filmmaking? Uh, you know, it's interesting, you know, in, in, in talking about this, you know, this is for films and it's, there's the actors and, and you didn't act, but you talk about acting as stepping up and doing something. Um, and um, I don't know if you're familiar with the term upstander, um, but when we talk about Holocaust education to students, we use that terminology a lot. We talk about perpetrators, collaborators, bystanders, and upstanders. And you guys are upstanders in everything that you're doing and what you're upholding for your community, 
for uh, and for the the larger community to be able to see this film and understand the nuance of the climate in Poland to understand how so many villages have been forgotten um, and to 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 learn a history and to honor all of these victims. So um, again, I really appreciate um, everything that you've done. And like I said, I'm already thinking, how can I get my students <laughs> to come and, <laughs> and meet you guys and go there? I, <laughs> I'm not sure. But it's it's to, it's so remarkable, and I was in awe watching the film. I'm, I'm in awe of speaking to all of you today. Um, and so, before we conclude, I just want to to invite you to share any other final words, thoughts that you have um, for this project. There is one more thing which is which is very important for me as the producer of the film and for my my organization. Uh, when we came with this idea to our readers of, of our paper, of Tygodnik Powszechny, uh, it was highly appreciated by our readers. Uh, a big part of the budget of the film comes from the crowdfunding. We have crowdfunded about one third of the budget of the film, just among the readers of Tygodnik, among our friends, among friends of Darek, uh, this, this crowdfunding campaign was the, uh, actually the first uh, significant sum of money that we collected from, for the film. Then uh, the partners came, the people from the whole world. Uh, there was the um, found, founded to the memory of uh, Jews of Polish origin, who died in Poland, and their, their uh, kids and grandkids live in Australia now. So we have the supporting partner in Australia. Uh, then uh, the German diplomacy came with the help. Then the uh, German foundation of Konrad Adenauer's name came with the su financing support. Uh, in such a different spaces, such a different milieus, this message, we are making film about the commemoration of Jewish neighborhood. And uh, we commemor try to commemorate the victims of Holocaust, opened not only hearts, but also the wallets of the people. So, so uh, we found that it is possible to ask people for money for the film, which supports the project of Darek. And many people want to get involved also by way of co-financing this production. So I'm appreciating it very much. And I'm, I'm really very grateful to all those who helped the film to, to appear. But it's also important that this is the film. We are a nonprofit organization. We don't make it for any profit. And also the financial, fi financing of the film was uh, completely non-profit support, but different couple of hundred of people and many organizations who, who contributed to the production of the film. So it's, it's like a joint venture of uh, many subjects, private persons, organizations, diplomacy, foundations, uh, so we, as a producer, found ourselves in the center of this, of this, uh, well, we were like a funnel, collecting funds from people of goodwill and uh, the money which made possible to, to, to make this movie. So uh, my deepest gratitude to all those who, who helped us and still are helping because even a few days ago we, we met um, businessman from Krakow who is not Jew either. He is, no matter, he's, he's, he has his business here and he, he heard that we are working on, on the film about, about Jews, about Jewish cemeteries and about Dalek's work. It was no problem for him to, again, to come to us and to say, well, I want to support it. I see it's good, I see it's necessary, I see it's important to show it to the world. So you have my support and 
let me be a part of it too. So, so that's, that was always also very impressive. I'm working for 20 years in, in the NGO and in the found, fundraising for different purposes. And it never happened to me that I felt so much, uh, so, much, so, so much of a good energy coming from the people who want to support the project. Very often it happens that people support the project because they want, they have a business in it. They want to have their logo and they want to be, um, they have any kind of, of interest coming from, from their involvement. And here, what kind, of, what kind of business? It's not a business. It's just a pure, pure uh, uh, support. It's, 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 uh, Without without any interest, so many thanks to all, all those. And for me, it's something uh, unbelievable what is going on uh, even today that we are uh, chatting uh, overseas yeah, in, in Miami. It's, you know, at the beginning in 2018, I just want to clear the Jewish cemetery, and that's it. Yeah, and today <laughs> I meet amazing people because Wojciech, uh, Mr. Alexander, the all uh, members of the Tygodnik of Czechne Foundation. It's something I would like to say a big thank you for your trust for 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 this all. Uh, year of, of uh, big uh, challenges because uh, at the beginning Wojtek was not sure if, if we even uh, collect money for the movie. He started because he had just just the feeling, let's do it. Yeah? I said to Wojtek, I have no money for the movie because it's a, it's a, I need to, to build the monument. That's my goal. <laughs> and, and, and you know, uh, it's amazing that today we are sitting here and and some people uh, in in Miami uh, watched our uh, movie. Yeah? So it's um, it's amazing. But what is most important for me that people, not numbers, our uh, our my daily philosophy. Uh, it's overseas, as you said. For you, uh, it's clear to teach about Holocaust in this way. For me, I didn't have any teacher about Holocaust, but all project. All my involvement, it's my answer uh, as a human being for the Holocaust. So that's why the name and surname, that's why the monument we located at the cemetery to bring them back to their homeland, you know, uh, in this symbolically way, in this symbolic way. And, and, and this is why. And, uh, and this is uh, for me amazing what's, what's going on. And, uh, to meet Wojciech, we are still friends, we are me meeting very often, <laughs> we think about another project and, uh, and this is a this is very good uh, relationship and I hope um, this movie can also maybe in some small way change something in the, in the small communities. I hope we, we, we will we'll, um, turn on also and uh, make some premiere in, in some Polish cities, Polish villages, I, and maybe maybe it will also start some process, yeah? So I would like to say big thank you to Wojciech, to uh, Tygodnik Powszechny, Fundacja Tygodnika Powszechnego uh, for the trust, for, for the all amazing things that, that, that are going on, yeah? Wonderful. And for you, for meeting. <laughs> <laughs> And for your question. Of course. What you is there anything that you would like to add to this as as we conclude? Moją odpowiedź na moją odpowiedzią na zagładę jest robienie filmów, ponieważ jestem reżyserem filmów dokumentalnych. My answer for the Shoah is to make films because I'm a film director. To była moja odpowiedź. Wziąłem kamerę, dobrą kamerę i chciałem sfilmować Darka i pracę na cmentarzu. It was my answer. I, I took the camera, a pretty good one, and I went to Darek to film his work at the cemetery. Tyle. Może mu pomoże, być może mu pomoże ten filmik, te kilka ujęć e, w jego pracy. And maybe that's all. And maybe this film will somehow help him in his work. Jeszcze nie miałem w planie film. Tak jak Darek powiedział. In the beginning I didn't dare to plan the film. I byłem y, y, bardzo szczęśliwy, że Darek mnie przyjął, 
tak ogromnie serdecznie. And I was very happy when he accepted me so cordially. Wiedziałem, że Darek będzie dobrym bohaterem filmowym. I knew from the beginning that he might be a very good uh, um, film hero. I wiedziałem, że uh, mogę za nim podążać. And I knew that I could follow him. A co z tego będzie? No jest what Miami. Will, what will come out of this? Well, Miami. <laughs> but but if you will watch a movie uh, very uh, closely, uh, you you will see that uh, Wojciech is not only filmmaker, but one day he uh, give camera to the other person and because he wants to help us <laughs> and he is carrying also some matseva and uh, and he is uh, later later on he was very very involved sometimes he was afraid that maybe camera will um, disturb the process of uh, of you know of because we meet people people um, usually are shy on, uh, in front of the camera they are nervous and i always said Wojciech, let's uh, let's uh, let's try let's try no problem yeah for me it was no problem and we really uh, there was a plenty of people that they say okay no problem they give us later on they give us uh, permission and and this was also amazing yeah and, and yeah so he was also involved he he didn't only um uh, Record yeah, and, and make, make a movie. Yeah, so. Ale żeby nie było. Mm, kiedy skończyliśmy pracę nad filmem, when we finished to, the work on the film, w moim rodzinnym mieście, w Bielsku Białej, in my hometown, Bielsku Biała, doszło do zniszczenia żydowskiego cmentarza. It happened that the Jewish cemetery, cemetery was damaged. Parę miesięcy temu. Few months ago, powywracano nagrobki. The tombstones were uh, damaged. Głupi i źli ludzie to zrobili. Stupid and bad people did it. I pierwsze co zrobiłem, gdy dowiedziałem się o tym, pojechałem na ten cmentarz. The first thing I, I made, I did when I knew, knew it. Z moją mamą. With my mom. I went to the cemetery with my mom. Żeby sprawdzić, czy grup rodziców, przyjaciółki mojej mamy stoi. To make sure that the tombstone of the uh, parents of my mother's friends is not damaged. Ten grób stał. It was nie zniszczony. Not, not destroyed. Ale moja mama bardzo płakała. But my mom was crying. Ponieważ e, miała przyjaciółkę. Because she had a friend. Rita. Rita która w 68 roku musiała wyjechać z Polski. Was, uh, who, who was pressed to leave Poland in 1968. Największa przyjaciółka na całe życie. Her closest friend for the whole life. No i wtedy mi się serce znowu rozrywało na tym cmentarzu. So my heart broke again on this cemetery in Bielsko-Biała. Dlatego to, co robi Darek jest uh, potwornie ważne w Polsce. That's, and that's why Darek's work is so uh, very, very important in, in to do in Poland. Uh, absolutely. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. And, you know, it, each of you have something so special that you're bringing to the table. Um, and you mentioned that there's a lot of good people that are helping you along the way. And it feels that it's mm -hmm. coming because all of you have good souls, you're good people. Um, you are that mensch that I mentioned early on. And I really want to, to thank you. I'm, I'm getting emotional thinking about it um, just because I've, I've been to Poland so much and I've taught this a lot and I'm, I'm in awe. I'm, I'm really grateful to, to what you've been doing and everything that you are continuing to do along this this path and this journey it is so important there's a, a hebrew saying kol hakavod um which means you know like good job well done but the literal meaning means all the respect i have all the respect for each of you kol hakavod on this project 
um, the film, obviously, that's premiering with our festival, but in continuing to do this work and, and um, helping the communities in these ways. So I want to thank you all for joining us. And once again, thank you to our members, our sponsors, our community partners, volunteers, and all of our film lovers for participating in the Milestone 25th Miami Jewish Film Festival. Thank you all so much.